My name is Geoffrey Stinton. I'm an artist and I live in Battersea. For some years I've been making sculptures in glass reinforced plastics using a special double skin method, making shapes that would be difficult to make in other materials, bringing together man-made materials and nature by sympathetic use of color and shape. One thing to make sculptures to be enjoyed by a few people in the privacy of their homes, but surely such materials and shapes should be seen by the public at large, especially when they feel a need in this gloomy time of recession. How would you like to live in a house like this? No, it's not from outer space. Houses like this will not only be desirable, they'll be essential if we are to save natural resources and keep warm cheaply in the future. I believe that houses like this will be built in the next five to ten years. Detached, low-cost living, far less, than, far less than a terraced house. But sooner than that, I hope to see large-scale sculptures like this to brighten up some of the lesser-known parts of London. Sculptures like this will be 30 to 40 feet high and will be very strong, yet will move with the wind. A great advantage is that they would be completely vandal-proof. This is how it might look on the Albert Embankment, where I have an exhibition running at the moment. Also on the last goal, this water fountain will be 15 feet high when built. If you want London artists to show what they can do to brighten up your life and help with the housing problem, Talk about these ideas to your council, your boss, and your MP tomorrow.